Hello YouTube, this is Tonsad39, and I'm going to be reviewing... Sci-Fi 64. Just to let you know that I'm still alive, still around. I'm really sorry I haven't posted for very long. I've just been caught up in other things, like summer school, for instance. Yes! Anyway, now let's review a Spike Fight 64. There are several most bits based on... Excite Fight 64 originally came out in the year 2000, and it was made by Nintendo. Developed by Nintendo? No, it wasn't. It was developed by Left Field Productions, you moron! Part of the remake craze that was going on at the time, basically where a game program and you can choose from an assortment of different ways than things add user piece well adds another piece user pieces are cool because you can change up what they are good now the track is complete made my track officially and now oh there's more um okay so this is the edit track back that goes back into the editing thing and there's a load that loads up a previous track and tests the track that's self-explanatory you it's a testing of the race on that particular track and I'm going to have, I'm going to name it, um, yeah, Kirby seems like a good name, yes, um, C, U, oh. C, U, R, R, V, What? I don't know what you're thinking of. That trick has curves. Catch your minds out of the gutter. <laughs> anyway, we can switch the dirt type. You know, we can have dark dirt, sand. You know what? Actually, we're going to go for the sand because that was the same view of sand that was in the original Excite Fight.
that have been noticing my fair share of glitches. Ergo, and, yeah. saw the biker running to their car, to their, um, bike. But here, they just sort of fade out and fade back onto the track. And the reason why they're blinking in tandem is maybe the two just so happen to come across on that track. That was a change for the better. In the original Excite Bike, if you, if a biker was running to their wrecked dirt bike, you ran over them. But here, no bikers to run over. And also, it'd be very inconvenient for the N64's ROM to even render. So yeah, that's still a that point though that doesn't affect the gameplay at large, but it's just an, ob an observance. Other changes made from the original Excite Bike to the N64 that were changed for the better, in my opinion, was the overheating mechanism. In the original Excite Bike, when the bike, when your bike overheated, it had a screen that where it blinked, overheat, and you had to stop. And then it said go, and then you had to finish the race like that. But here, when you overheat, all you gotta do is slow down. You don't do, you don't have to pull over, you don't have to do nothing, you just slow down. Just like what I'd imagine to be in real Excite. Just like how I'd imagine to be in real dirt bike. Of course, they also added a shit ton of modes since the NES, as 16 years separates the release of these two games. Excite Bike was released for the Famicom in 1984. This was released for the N64 in the year 2000. A lot of things improved and changed in all those 16 years. But this is Excite Bike Advanced, Improved, Remade! For dirt biking track in real life. I have to give that field production's credit where it's due. They are creative with their dirt biking, you know, from a track that's in the jungle to a track that's in the desert. To a track that basically mimics Sutter's Mill. They're really creative. Yeah, and they also include some real life tracks. They've also kept some things from the original Excite Bike. You know, like the, the fact that there is a temperature gauge instead of an RPM meter. And the fact that although the losing screen does this. If you get first place, it does. No, sounds familiar? That's it. That's right, they actually sampled the original Excite Bike music to put in there. They've unlocked the original Excite version. The Excite Bike version. It's all it makes improvements. Even though it's far improved over the original Excite Bike, it still has the Excite Bike roots. And so, this isn't Excite Bike 64. More accurately, this is Excite Bike Square. Excite Bike to the second power. Basically, meaning 3D and all that. Actual racers. It's Excite Bike to the second power. And it's very cool. And here are the ratings for it. This is Tomstead39, signing out.